Oh, and assalamu alaikum this is harim i hope that you all people are fine and safe at home welcome to your class of english grammar and speaking best way to learn english firstly subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon tenses lecture number 6 past tense today i am going to teach you about past tense Firstly I want to tell you about the past tense that it is used to talk about a completed action in a time before now the simple past is the basic form of past tense in english the time of the action can be in the recent past or the distant past and action duration is not important so here i am going to discuss about the formulas for the past tense for the affirmative sentence we use subject subject can be he she it i we they you second form of verb for example here is the word work work will be converted into worked plus object object can be garden or football negative sentence negative sentence is used to neglect any idea or anything So for the negative sentence we use subject plus did did is the helping verb plus not plus first form of verb for example here was the work here was the word that was work so work will be work we will not use ed after the alphabet k then we will used object for the interrogative sentence for the interrogative sentence we will use helping verb which is did at the start of the sentence plus subject plus first form of verb plus object for the negative sentence we will use did plus subject plus not plus first form of verb plus object simple past simple past is used to express finished or completed actions simple past basic form add ed to the verb for example verb may be fast work slow verb visit visit will be convert into visited we will use ed after the alphabet consonant and the consonant is t in the word visit now comes the walk walk will be convert into walked talk talk will be convert into talked and visit walk and talk these are the first form of verbs and visited walked and talked these are the second form of verbs for single sleepy verbs ending in a short vowel and a consonant double the final consonant verb slip here the consonant is and it is the last alphabet of the word so we will use this word as slipped we will use double p means that is double ending consonant slip will be slipped drop will be dropped cross will be crossed here slip drop cross these are the first form of verbs slipped dropped crossed these are the second form of verbs for verbs that end in e only add d for example here the verbs are danced live race dance will be convert into danced now we will not add double ending consonants we will only add d at the end of the word for example dance dance will be danced live live will be lived race race will be raced i visited my old school here the subject is i the second form of verb is visited first form of verb is visit but we will use second form of verb according to the formula of the past tense then comes the i walked to school he dropped his keys they crossed the street 
they lived in england before moving to america he raced on the track he studied english she dried her clothes they tried dancing she played score we stayed home she prayed before eating here is a table about affirmative negative and interrogative for the affirmative we will use subject plus second form of verb for example i walked for the negative we will use i did not walk here we have used did for the subject i so now i want to tell you the difference between do does and did do or does both are used in the present tense we use do when the subject is plural we use does when the subject is singular in the present tense but we will use did in the past tense whether the subject is singular or plural for example i did we did he did she did you did for the interrogative sentence we will use did which is the start of the sentence then it will be did i walk walk means it is the first form of verb according to the formula of interrogative sentence you walked you did not walk did you walk he walked he did not walk did he walk we walked we did not walk did we walk they walked they did not walk did they walk The simple past tense shows that you are talking about something that has already happened. The simple past is a verb tense which is used to show that a completed action took place at a specific time in the past. The simple past is a frequently used to talk about past habits and generalizations. So the simple past tense is used to talk about past habits and generalizations the simple past is formed by using verb plus ed in addition there are many verbs with irregular past forms for example you called henry did you call henry you did not call henry use the simple past to express the idea that an action started and finished as a specific time in the past sometimes the speaker may not actually mention the specific time but they do have a specific time in mind here are some examples for example i saw a movie yesterday i didn't see any play yesterday last year i traveled to japan last year i did not travel to korea did you have dinner last night she washed her car he did not wash his car where you people are using did you can also use have with it i hope that it is clear to you stay connected to my channel and give your feedbacks okay then allah hafiz and take care